We got it. We got it. Look, we got it. Look at this. Look at that. See that? There's a low pressure zone in the middle. That's not what we want. It's not a hot spot. This is at 40 kilohertz. I have to do another simulation at 60, but I finally got the simulation to look like it matches reality at least. This is great, great, great news because we can simulate other horn geometries and crush this sonoluminescence into infinity. That's what we're gonna do. It's so awesome, so beautiful. Thank you everyone who's helped me figure this out. All of you, you know who you are. Thanks so much. These simulations are out of control. They take a long time to figure out. There are so many variables and I want to stop doing these for your guys' sake so that you can enjoy these videos again. Back to real life, okay? Arguably the most important aspect of this entire project is temperature sensing on this manifold. So to do that, we're gonna use this Max 6675 chip and this thermocouple. We're gonna write the code to start sensing temperature and logging it to a CSV file. We're gonna use this little Olamex board that has a micro SD card on it and a very wise engineer introduced me to these. So you know who you are too, thank you very much. Here's our setup. Here's the Olamex board, that's an ESP32 on there. Here's our Max 6675, and then this is our temporary thermocouple. It's a K-type. Um, so I loaded in the code and I am getting a temperature read failed, spy data unavailable or thermocouple error. It's not a thermocouple error. Um, there is something going on. There's, it looks like we have contention between the chip select of the Max and the chip select of the SD card, micro SD. So I got to weed through that. But let's check the micro SD and see if the data was being written. Okay, I pulled the card out of there, put them in this little USB adapter. Beautiful. There's all of our file names and they all have unique identifiers on them. So we can go ahead and put the data in there. Let's see. Let's check one of these out here. There we go. Look at that. All right.